Um, I'm having a really good week, uh, weekend this weekend because uh, today I'm you know, speaking at Roof Camp. Tomorrow I'm going to my godson's ch uh, birthday party, seventh birthday party. And um, you know, I, I always find it weird whenever I go to these birthday parties with, you know, especially if they're like uh, the son of like one of my colleagues or one of my friends back in Kids. college. And like, I, I mean, they're, so, they're so noisy and they smell bad. And um, I was wondering, you know, what is it with me, Kaya? Why, why can't I, you know, why don't I like, why can't I, you know, start a family or I don't have that kind of compulsion? And my theory, my theory is that, you know, I mean, I've, I'm 29 right now and I've been doing the startup thing for, for four years. I started, I started my first company when I was 25. And to a certain extent, kasi, the, the startups that I, uh, these companies, these are, these are my children, so these are my babies, no? And the time that you spend uh, rearing your kid, if there are any parents in this room, no? This is the, it's the same amount of time I spend rearing, you know, these companies. So, so since I was 25, uh, Infinitely, the, as, as Paul was saying, uh, is my, my fourth uh, startup. Uh, my first two startups, so these are my first born and my second born. They, they both passed away. <laughs> yeah. But my third born was, uh, no, we, were, we were acquired, so, you know, good, yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's making his own money now. The young fourth born, this is Infinitely, which I'm about to show to you now. This is, uh, this is a very young startup. We've only been working on this for about a year. And um, there's still lots and lots of things that we're trying to figure out. So what I've prepared today is... Uh, it's actually a, parang a photo album of my, my precious moments of uh, my, my fourth born and my pride and joy. So, um, when, we, when we first started thinking about having our fourth child, no? uh, and this is me and two other guys, so it was kind of weird. Um, we were thinking about you know, the state of social networks. No? This was in late 2009 when we first started talking about it. Um, so, is there anyone in this room right now who has only one social network account? Because Usually, people will have at least two or three. They'll have a Twitter, they'll have a Facebook, and then they'll have maybe a Multiply. Yeah, there are some Friendster guys here who still use Friendster to pick up girls, no? And uh, that's, not, that's not good, I don't like that. That's, that's a really bad way to pick up girls. Pero, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, but you know, I mean, generally people will have several, no? And uh, you know, managing three or four social network accounts, it's hard, it takes a lot of time. And you don't, like, you know, when I'm, when I'm at the office, I look at other people's computers and they pretend that they're working and the other half of their screen is Facebook, right? And I feel like maybe you can be using your time a little bit more productively. So what we kind of came up with, the main concept of Infinitely was uh, we wanted to build something that would unify your social presence. So you would be able to manage those three or four social network accounts from a single place and thus save yourself some time. So that was kind of, uh, that was the main concept. Um, this is our birth certificate for Infinitely. Uh, it was born on the 15th of February, 2010. And uh, actually, we just actually, uh, you know, celebrated our first year anniversary just a few days ago. So I'm really happy that we survived this long because my firstborn didn't even make it to eight months. So Feb 15 was when we started. And, you know, like generally the first step that you, uh, you kind of have to get over when you when you when you've got your concept now. So now you're thinking about uh, things like identity and branding and things like that. I generally like to start with things like that because um, when you work out the branding, that will usually give you uh, insight into the direction of your project. Now, so these are some of our original ideas. This is what we call the Infinity Octopus, where um, you know you've got these different. Can everyone see this? Okay. Yeah, is that all right? Um, so you've got these different uh, sources all meeting in a single head, and it forms the Infinity logo. So I thought that was pretty clever. But, you know, I mean, when we were showing it to other people who were more corporate -y, they, you know, they thought that it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't very obvious what it was. So we didn't eventually go with that, although I kind of like that idea. So these are some of the other ideas we had. The one that we eventually kind of went with was this one, because, you know, I'm super creative, right? So. The name of the company was Infinitely. Maybe I should have an Infinity logo somewhere in there, and you know, that's pretty much what we did. Um, it's familiar, it's easy to remember, and um, you can actually type the Infinity logo on a Mac keyboard. That's Alt-8, and you've got your logo that you can stick into an email, so it works really well. Um, and so this is kind of, uh, 
the logo type and the logo that we went with. This is early February to, that was yeah, late February to early March when we came up with this. Um, so after we came up with uh, the branding, no, we started putting together our landing page. So our very first landing page came out in March of 2010. And so you've got the, the logo there, the name of your company, and then the, the tagline, which was unifying your social presence, if I hope you can read that. And um, that was kind of how we wanted to position ourselves. And in here, the text here, it says your meme.infinite.ly. And then above and below that, you've got words like movie, club, band, show, event, and launch. This is launch there. And so if there's one thing that you can take away from this landing page is that we had no idea what we were doing. Like we were just gonna do everything. That's what we wanted to do. And that's a really bad idea for a startup. Now that's, a, that's like one of the worst things you can do. You need to be really focused. And we learned this kind of, you know, we learned this fairly early on. We were a small team. We still are. Um, there's, there were seven of us at the time. So we were not a very large team by all standards. Better by Philippine startup standards. That's actually, we were pretty huge now, I guess. Because the first startup I was in, there was three of us. So, you know, there you go. Anyway, so um, pretty soon after this landing page came out, we started really thinking again about, you know, what we really wanted to do. Now, just be more specific about the business direction of the, the company. Because I'm a, an art major, and uh, this is the only time I can break out a pencil and actually pretend that I'm still making art. So, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's wonderful. Now, it's, uh, it's like... This is, a five, this is five years in fine arts for you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and this is, and I know that you cannot understand a single thing on there, but it was awesome when I was, when I was drawing it out. Anyway, whatever. So I just wanted to show what the first step in the design process was. Okay, so back to, back to kind of focusing the, the idea. No? So uh, very early on, we started thinking about the notion of using infinitely as a tool that we could then sell to agencies. So here's the use case now. Um, big companies like say Globe or Smart or Cafe Alfonso, they will have like uh, digital agencies handling their social presence. And you know, I mean, you've got like Twitter, Facebook and Flickr. I'm sure these guys have, it takes time. Advertising agencies don't like having to do these things, you know, one at a time. If you could like give them a tool set that aggregates all of it in one place, then so much the better for them. So that was kind of the, you know, that was the direction we wanted to go in. But again, being, uh, trying to target agencies, because uh, that, there's a lot of implications there. For one thing, you have to be really stable. The, the product has to be really stable. Um, the product has to be enterprise ready, which means you have to have lots and lots of stuff that was hard to build, which, and that's the, that's the technical term for it. Um, so, very soon after that, we came up with a new landing page that was a little bit more focused on the whole business dev thing. No? Um, so this, is, this was our new corporate looking landing page. So you had words like understand your market, which I hear is what, that's what people say in the advertising and marketing you know, arena. And uh, talk to your customers and things like that. So you know, I mean, we're definitely going for that slant. And uh, you know, it's, it's boring. It's not the most exciting thing ever, and I'm not sure my mom would understand it if I showed her this. But you know, I mean, this is this is where we were at that stage in time. Next. Um, so, yeah, oh, sorry, could you go back one slide? I just wanted to read this thing. Um, I just wanted to read that one here. It says, uh, "Build your social presence," and because the text is tiny, I'll read the rest. It says, "Create a custom microsite that brings together all your content and activity from Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and YouTube." So. Those were the four social networks that we were initially trying to target. And by microsite, we mean like, so we were at that stage where we were aggregating data, right? So we were bringing in your tweets, your Facebook posts, your Flickr photos, your YouTube videos. And we were thinking, you know, we might as well actually have a place where you can then view all of these, this aggregated content. So one of the key parts of the tool set of Infinitely was a builder, like a microsite builder, where you could then design uh, a page around the content that we were. Uh, and this is kind of what it looked like back then. And you know, um, again, the product of five years in uh, art school, not, not the greatest thing I've ever done. But I mean, the point of it was that you would be able to drag stuff in there and then move them around and then lay it out in such a way that it would be sexy and then you could earn a paycheck as, your ad as a being an advertising monkey. So that was where we were at back then. 
This is, uh, this is one of the very first microsites that we, we built using that builder that you saw. Um, so this was May. Tamaba. <laughs> so yes. I think the election was in May, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, so what this site did, and obviously this is no longer online now, we took it down. <laughs> um, what this site did was it would uh, aggregate all of the social buzz about every presidential candidate. So you could go here and you'd stare at it, essentially. That's, that's all you could do. You'd stare, about it, stare at it and see what people were saying about any of these candidates. And